I'm Koushik Gray from Imperial College London. I'm here at the ESC 2019. If we start by thinking about the ESC 2019 guidelines, prevention of cardiovascular disease remains a major challenge, and it's all about assessing risk. Those people that establish heart disease have high levels of risk of recurrent events, and there are people who yet don't have events but have risk factors. So the first lipid target is LDL cholesterol, and there are two issues with that. Some people, despite statins as first line, need additional treatments to lower that. Second, it's the convenience of that. So add-on therapy might require a small molecule, which is a pill taken every day, so that's 365 pills a year for the future of the rest of their life, or maybe a monoclonal antibody, which is 26 injections a year. And we know there are issues with non-adherence. So one way to maybe counteract this or to solve this problem is a different approach to lowering cholesterol. In the Orion 1 trial, we used a new therapy called inclycerin, and this works through a very different process. So what this drug actually does is it targets the messenger RNA for PCSK9, working within the liver, and it stops the message being converted into the protein, which is PCSK9. What we showed in that particular trial was that a dose of 300 milligrams with one injection on day one and one on day 90 with a long, durable, sustained, assured effect might offer a subsequent twice a year injection pattern. We validated that with modeling. We have a long-term extension study called Orion 3, which has gone out to three years with a six monthly dosing schedule. And this, is, this suggested that this approach might be very useful. In Orion 11, we randomized over 1,600 patients with established cardiovascular disease or high-risk primary prevention with LDL cholesterols above target. So if people had ASCVD, their LDLs were above 70. If they had risk equivalent, the LDLs were above 100, despite high doses of statins. What we found is that this dosing interval of inclycerin, 300 milligrams on day one, then day 90, and then six monthly thereafter, over an 18-month period, reduced LDL cholesterol by a further 54%. But for a long-acting drug, what's more important is the duration, the average reduction in cholesterol. So with an infrequent dosing interval, we provide a 50% reduction in LDL cholesterol. Safety is obviously even more important for a long-acting drug. And what we found, there was no difference in liver or any other, inje or in any other adverse event of note. These were equally balanced. And when we looked at injection site reactions, there was a small difference of about 4.2%. And these are predominantly mild, none are sustained, and all are transient in nature. We also looked at an exploratory endpoint, which is cardiovascular events. And these were much lower in the inclycerin group compared to the placebo. And it's important because this is the endpoint that we are looking at in the ongoing Orion 4 cardiovascular outcomes trial, which will report in 2024. But in the meantime, later on this year, two more Orion trials, 10 and 9, will report later on this year in about 1,500 patients, exactly the same sort of design as Orion 11, but with ASCVD alone from North America, whereas Orion 11 was in Europe. We also have around 500 patients with heterozygous FH that will also report out later on this year. How might this affect our clinical care? Well, it overcomes one major problem, which is patient non-adherence. So if this drug is approved in, let's say, two years' time, it appears to be very safe. The biggest thing about this is going to be the convenience. If it's administered by a physician, you know the patient has taken it, and you know that between those dosing intervals, you've got 50% reduction in LDL cholesterol. And that's very important because it will provide persistent, durable, assured results safely with huge opportunities for patient choice.